the money. Thank you, Madam Speaker. First question. Sorry? Did you answer the first question? Uh, sorry, Madam Speaker, maybe Repeat I didn't catch it that again up. For the first question was Did you have any cash transactions, any cash business between yourself and the DG? before 28 when you received money through M-Pesa from him. Thank you, Madam Speaker. We have never had any cash transaction between, my, between me and the Deputy Governor. Not in cash, not in my M-Pesa. Uh, Senator Mulgo, do you still want to raise any question? Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. I have two questions uh, to the uh, witness. One is what did you see on your message? Did you see 100,000 or did you see a name with it such that you are comfortable overnight with the money and not uncomfortable such that you would uh, you know seek as to whose uh, who is the sender and probably send it back. So um, what made you comfortable to just have it with you overnight? Then my second question is, uh, what influence do you have over the board such that uh, the deputy governor would uh, seek your help to be able to help him position this applicant. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, question number one. Mm -hmm. uh, in line with uh, what influence? Being a board member, I'm the managing director of the company, I would probably think that he felt that I could be able to influence because by virtue of the office that I hold as a managing director and I sit in the board, he felt that maybe I could be able to influence. It is by virtue of the position that I hold. Question number two, Madam Speaker, the comfort in which I stayed with the money at night, I've clearly stated, Madam Speaker, the money was sent to me at 21.34, it was a Sunday, at night and this is my boss in the county madam speaker i wouldn't have called him at that particular time and the following day was a monday that is why i called him during the official working hours thank you madam speaker uh, honorable senators we still have a list i want to give to senator sifuna but i want to request that if a question has already been answered we don't repeat it again because you most likely will get the same answer. Senator Sifuna. Madam Speaker, at the beginning of these proceedings, there were certain admissions that were made by uh, the counsel for the deputy governor, uh, most important of which was that, yes, the accept money was received, but it was not for the purposes stated by the prosecution, but, but that it was for repayment of a debt. Now, uh, Senior Counsel Katwa Kigen, at page 189, where we have excerpts of the answer of the proceedings before the county assembly, isn't it a fact that there was indeed another admission before the county assembly? Uh, you will see the question you put to him there. And did you talk to Lucy about that request about your friend, Mr. Joseph Misati? Isn't it uh, a fact, if the answer is to be believed, that in fact this question of whether the DG spoke to uh, the MD at Guasco on this request or not has already been made? Or is it your position, uh, as you've stated before, that the answer has been doctored? I thank you, Mr. Madam Speaker. Proceed. Our position is that, no, we do not say that that part of the answer has been done, that we do not contest that. Um, we do not contest that bit of the answer. 
we are saying that the money was erroneously sent to Lucy, it was meant to be sent to Cladis. The conversation. It is also true, we, it is our position that uh, we contest the position taken by Lucy that he, she was summoned. It is our position that they met casually and uh, the deputy governor said in passing that a friend of mine, son, has applied and that Lucy in response said exactly what she has said now, that if he qualifies, well and good, and nothing else, be, nothing beyond that casual comment and that the issue of being someone is untrue.